What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Jolteon for ranked regulation age. Now, in the previous video that we uploaded to the channel, we showcased Vaporeon. So I saw this Jolteon team. I was like, screw it. Let's rock out with another evolution. Considering we just used Umbreon and Sylveon not too long ago, maybe we'll just rip all the evolutions real quick for you guys. I don't know. We'll see. But today, again, Jolteon with Bolt Absorb, Rocket as his ability, and the Focus Sash as his item absolutely a beast of a pokemon very fast hits pretty hard on the special attacking side it's got the ghost terror type with thunderbolt e-web for speed control it also has fake tears to lower opposing pokemon special defense and last but not least it has detect now a good pokemon that i like to pair up with this jolteon on this team is going to be this choice scarf golden go super fast once you get those special defense drops with jolteon it's going to be taking out pokemon left and right golden go's got good as gold with make it rain shadow ball focus blast and power gem a great move set for any choice scarf gold to go. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features three meta Pokemon and one off meta Pokemon. You got Incineroar, Ninetales, and Ursa Luna for your meta squad, and they got Malamar for your off meta Pokemon. Incineroar doing Incineroar things, fake out Flutter Blitz, knock off Burning Shot. Ninetales is there for weather control and Aurora Veils. Ursa Luna is a big time special attacker with a life form. And Malamar with con Contrary, a fun Trick Room Pokemon. You can use it to counter Trick Room or just set up Trick Room for a squad. A lot of different options with this squad. You guys, you wanna run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Jolteon in ranked regulation H. Hopping into our first match for today's video, we're going up against a pretty solid meta squad. They got Dragonite, they got Garchomp, and Cinnamore, a little Ninetales, then they got King Gambit rocking out with Amoongus. I do like our Ninetales here, considering Ice is going to be super effective on the three of their Pokemon. So definitely want to bring that, but who should I lead? I feel like Incineroar could be good. I could lead Jolteon maybe with Golden Go. That could be pretty good. That could definitely be pretty good. 200 speed compared to... What are you at, Golden Go? What are you at, Mr. Golden Go? 133 with the Choice Scarf. To be honest, I think the calculations on this team should be like pretty good. I think Jolteon should outspeed Golden Go, get off the fake tiers, and then you outspeed. I think this is a good call for us just to go into both of these guys. And then we'll bring Incineroar... And last but not least, ninth house. That is something I actually really like. I really like. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping Jolteon is faster than Golden Go here. Because I would love to get off fake tears before anything. Lower the special defense so Golden Go can maximize its damage every turn it uses any move. So that's kind of the plan. We'll see if the speeds work out. But Jolteon sitting at 200 speed. I think it should outspeed that, uh... I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think of the math here. Because it's 1.5. So divide 133 by 2. That would be roughly 60... 66.5? Yeah, so you add 66.5 to the 133. It should be slower. Wow, those damage calcs are insane. So yeah, it should be slower. It definitely should be slower. So it kind of looks like they want to set up an Aurora Veil. Um, to be honest, I could just Focus Blast, but I really don't want to Focus Blast here. I really don't want a Defiant Pop either. I might just Fake Tears this Ninetales and get and get rid of it. I could Thrasilize you into Steel as well. Just so you don't take an insane amount of damage. So I'm going to do this, and I'm just going to Fake Tear Drop this thing. I don't, I don't really want a Defiant Boost to King Gambit. Maybe next turn. We'll see how this one plays out. We'll Fake Tears and just look to get rid of this thing. The Terror type will pop out from us into a nice lovely Steel type, just in case Sucker Punch is, is to play for uh, this King Gambit. So we're going to do this. I think then we're going to try to pop into War Veil, but right now, it should be faster. So hopefully we just knock out this Nine Tails and just don't even allow him. They protect Nine Tails. Wow. A little bit of protect action. Double protect or single protect? Big Tears going to fly. They kind of know what we want to do now. And we'll see what they want to do. Make it Rain's gonna launch, gonna do about negative six damage to this Golden Go. Approximately negative six. And not Golden Go, King Gambit, I might say. But uh, King Gambit's probably gonna go for a Kalthak Cleave. Yeah. Kalthak Cleave launches, does solid damage all around. And we'll just throw another Make It Rain across the board. And I'll fake tears again into this slot. Gotta fake tears into this slot. But not a bad play for them. They end up protecting. Good turn one there. Fake Tears going to launch here. We're going to be able to get rid of this. 
this nine tails here. They definitely think, or they don't even know that we're choice. They don't even know we're choice, but I guess now that they know. Bye bye, nine tails. Nine tails gone. Still do a little bit damage to the uh, King Gambit, which is good. And I am scared of Defiant Pop, but I really am. I really am. I think he does attack the Golden Go again, which is fine by me. You're going to count out, leave it. Yep, and he's just going to finish it off. No, you're going to go after Jolteon, who survives it. Cool. So you might allow me to get off one more Make It Rain. One more Make It, make it Rain's nice. Oh, yeah. Do we do we fake tears you? Yeah, we got to. We got to fake tears Dragonite. Dragonite could protect. Could also be Choice Bandit. You could go for suck. You could go for Sucker Punch and a Extreme Speed, but now you're just gonna Extreme Speed, Jolteon. That's fair. So there's that. He's gonna pick up a double KO here, and I don't think we're sitting in a terrible position. We're gonna be forced to Defiant Pop, which kind of sucks. But I mean, we can fake out. So we bring down King Gamut to half HP. Not terrible. We're gonna say bye bye to it here. Our Golden Go. Count that Cleave's gonna launch. And now we're sitting here, who with a Dragonite, who's probably Choice Band. In the E speed. Not terrible. We still definitely have a shot at win this game. But that King game it early on. Kind of doing us good. So we'll be able to go into you. We'll be able to go into you. We'll see if this thing's inner focus or multi scale. I really hope it's multi scale because Intimidate would work wonders here. But chance are it's inner focus, right? It's got to be inner focus. So yeah, we're going to Defiant Pop here. Um, and what is my play here? Show me non-inner focus. Show me non-inner focus. Multi-scale me. It is multi-scale. That's great. That's really good news. So, slight issue here would be this King Gambit. So, I am going to Blizzard. Luckily, you are minus one on attack. So, I'm going to Blizzard, and I'm just going to fake out the King Gambit. I really can't afford this thing to just rip up into me right now. I really can't. So we'll see how they want to play it. We're going to drop a Blizzard at the same time. Blizzard's going to do minimal damage to the King Gambit, but it's better than nothing. He ends up protecting the Dragonite. Don't you dare double protect. Be a single protect. Awesome. Dope. That's a solid turn for us. So we do about negative six damage to this King Gambit. Blizzard's going to launch, I think, Snow and soon, which is actually kind of tough for us, but I do have Freeze Try to deal with the Dragonite. Can I get a Freeze on the King Gambit, though? Nope. And from here... We don't have Terror type. I could just protect you, which I think I am going to do. How many turns are left in Snow? How many turns are left in Lovely Little Snow? One. I can afford to waste a turn. And then Florida Blitz you down. Because I would think King Gambit would want to go after Ninetales more than anything. So I'm going to look to just drop it here. Because I think he wants to go for like an Iron Head into, into my Ninetales, knowing we don't have Terror type either. So there's that. E Speed's going to launch into Ninetales. Big time block for us. That's a big time block. And Flare Blitz is going to outspeed the King Gambit, getting rid of it. Okay, cool. I don't want to worry about that plus one King Gambit doing a ridiculous amount of damage. So that's a really solid turn for us. So now we're sitting here, 2v2 situation. We got Dragonite. Minus one on attack. Can't do anything about that. And hopefully their final Pokemon. I was going to say it's Garchomp. Amoongus, what you got here? It's going to be Garchomp. So Ice is going to do some damage here. Did we go for the Blizzard is the real question. Did we go for the Blizzard? I think we Blizzard. We just gotta land one of them, so I'm gonna go for Blizzard here, and if I can, I'd rather double down to Garchomp, but I think he's just gonna go for a ground move. Might even go Terra type here. What Terra type could you go? Fire? Steel? I'm just gonna go for knockoff into Garchomp. Here's a Terra type. Here's a Terra type. So we have Blizzard. Low accuracy. Kind of hoping it lands. And you're going to go into a straight steel typing. I was going to rip fire Flare Blitz. Let's see how we do here. Because a ground move. Oh, man. E he can EQ freely, which really sucks. E speed going to launch. Still do. Oh, it gets a crit. Come on with that. Land, Blizzard. Land. Who's dodging it? Who dodged it? The one Pokemon we didn't want dodging it. Awesome. And EQ can fly freely. A crit, man. I think Ninetales would have soaked up this E Or not the E speed. The uh, EQ, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Would have been close regardless, but still, he was able to take out my Incineroar one shot. That was pretty much game. We're sitting 0-1. Let's go hop into a second match. Look for a first victory. So, guys, we lost our first match. We'll take that one on the chin. Looking to bounce back here for our first victory in today's video. Going up against another Dragonite squad. They got Volcarona as well as Electabuzz, King Gambo yet again. And then they're rocking out with Rillaboom and Sneasel, which I could see as like a grassy C combo. I kind of want to give the Jolteon... And 
golden go combo another shot here i think it can work out a little bit better here we just got countered really hard with the lead so i'm fine for that i'm fine for that so i'm gonna end up going into both of these guys um back end pokemon could be it could be nine tails here i mean Ninetales is good up against the dragonite but i kind of also want to bring in incineroar because if i can bring this pokemon out at the right time intimidates work wonder so i am going to end up bringing incineroar and last but not least did we go ursaluna it's speed's rather decent let's be honest here it's speed's good i'm gonna bring ursaluna i like it here super effective onto a few different pokemon blood moon does a ridiculous amount of damage and it's holding the life orb so it's like come on man ursaluna so solid especially when you invest speed evs into this thing like it could be mediocre speed like it is 100 it can outspeed some pokemon so it's pretty good it might even be able to outspeed the king gambit on their team because king gambit's like kind of around the same speeds usually a little bit lower but yeah they're gonna go sneasel here alongside with dragonite um hmm hmm definitely want to pop make a rain and I definitely want Terrasalize Jolteon. And the reason I want to Terrasalize Jolteon is because one, E speeds, two, fake out. So Terrasalizing this thing in the ghost is gonna be good for us. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I am going to also just rip a fake tears into Dragonite. I do think that is our best bet here. And we'll see how they kind of want to play this one. I'm kind of hoping they just go for a fake out turn one. They don't know our speeds though. They do not know our speeds. As long as Sneezer still has its item, right now we're faster than it. Until it loses its item and it goes unburdened, that, that's the problem. That's the problem. So maybe I should e-speed next turn? We'll see. But I'm hoping that we could just, you know, pick up some big-time damage with Make It Rain onto this Dragonite. Because Dragonite's a pretty pretty decently bulky Pokemon. But it more so poses a big-time physical attacking threat. So getting rid of it would just be huge. So we try to Jolteon into Ghost just to deal with any of these normal moves that are potentially coming our way. And show me Fake Out. No Fake Out. No Fake Out. A lot of Sneezers haven't been rocking Fake Out recently. But Fake Tears gonna launch here, make it rain, ready to roll. I could have Terrasalized into Steel, but I like this. I like where we're at here. I like where we're at. Coaching's gonna pop through here, and he is going to boost attack here, which is kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Definitely scary. <laughs> the coaching boosts up, scale shots. Probably gonna take out Jolteon. Yeah, this thing does a ridiculous amount of damage. And he's gonna boost his speed at the same time. Now, something I'm really hoping here after a speed boost is my Golden Go can still outspeed. Because if my Golden Go can still outspeed, it's gonna be really good for us. It's gonna be perfect for us. Because then I can just finish it off with a, another Make It Rain. That's the hopes here. That's the hopes. Now, I could go into Ursaluna. Yeah, let's go into Ursaluna here. We're gonna go into Ursaluna. This Dragonite's gonna be plus one on attack. I could have intimidated it as well. But I think from here we just throw another Make It Rain. Make It Rain flies through here. Um, should I just protect this turn? I think protecting you is going to be the play. Because if I can just, again, get off this Make It Rain, we're probably going to pick up KO here. So hopefully. So my plan kind of here is to pop a Make It Rain, pick up the double KO, and then maybe hard swap into Incineroar to reset the choice Scarf. Wouldn't be too shabby. Wouldn't be too shabby for us. But there's a chance that they end up swapping too. Sneezer's just gonna throw to protect out. No big deal. Sneezer protects, Ursaluna protects. Please attack my Ursaluna. Or Golden Go just out speed. Make life simple. Make a range gonna launch you out speed. Beautiful. This should take out the Dragonite. We should say bye bye to it. See you later. Yep, cool. Alright, so see you later, Alligator. Or see you later, Dragon Gator. I don't know. <laughs> see you later, Dragonite. We get rid of it. That's a big time KO for us, especially. That thing being coaching boosted. Now, if they want to go into, say, another physical attacker that's not King Gambit. Well, there's King Gambit. I was going to say, we could just go into Incineroar. Which wouldn't be bad for us. And um, Sucker Punch is looking scary. So, I still might just Defiant Pop. I really might just Defiant Pop here. Say, screw it. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Defiant Pop and just look to rip an Earth Power into this slot. Because there is a chance that, uh, there's a chance that he goes for Sucker Punch, just looks to take out my Golden Go. And Sneezer's kind of chilling here, being maybe a close combat Pokemon. But I mean, I could fake it out next turn. He's going to protect next turn with Incineroar in his face. But I don't mind, I don't mind popping Defiant here. I really don't. I really don't, because I do think there's a chance you go for Sucker Punch, and I would love that. Yep, there's Sucker Punch. There's Sucker Punch, great call on my end. We are able to make that fail. Close combat gonna launch into you. You should soak, Ursaluna. 
Beautiful. Lovely. Awesome. Drop your defense stats. Earth power. Hopefully KO in here. Stab. Super effective. Life orb. Bye bye King Gambit. Great call of mine. Did not mind popping Defiant for that instance right there. And now they kind of got to choose. I think they do end up protecting this, uh, this Sneasler since we already seen Sneasler protect already. Or they could go for follow me and I could just fake out Electabuzz and double down into it. Um, hmm. Let's fake out you and just Hyper Voice. Let's do that. If you take out my Ursula, you take out my Ursula, but I got some good Pokemon in the back end. There's a chance they Terrasalize like the Buzz and the Ghost. I know a lot of them have been rocking Ghost recently. But I mean, Ursula is still going to be able to hit with Hyper Voice, which is good news. But again, there is a there is a hot chance that they protect Sneasel here. Staring down Fake Out with Incineroar. So that's why I, I chose to Fake Out like the Buzz instead. But now comes the Terror type. Is it like the Buzz? Or is it Sneezy? Who you got? It's going to be like the Buzz. Is it Ghost? It is Ghost. So my fake out's not gonna do anything. Hyper voice if they do not close combat my Ursaluna. Would be fine here. Fake out gonna get blocked. They ended up not protecting Sneasler. We could just fake out Sneasler and pretty much win the game. He's gonna close combat the Incineroar, which is totally fine because I'm able to soak. And Ursaluna, you outspeed, correct? You outspeed, correct? No, you don't, but Thunderbolt going to go after Incineroar. Totally fine. Incineroar can soak the shots. And Hyper Voice can roll through here and get rid of the Sneasler. And then I clean up this match with Golden Go. So everything working out perfectly. We love it. And I did an insane amount of damage. Nice little critical hit on the like the buzz. So like I said, we're bouncing back in match number two. Looking for a first victory. That's exactly what we're going to get here. Golden Go, get on out here. Now you can Shadow Ball for stab damage freely too, which is perfect. So perfect. Reset that choice scarf. We're going to outspeed. Shadow Ball into Blood Moon. No problem. Battle was canceled. We're sitting one and one. Moving on to our final match. And is today just meta squad day? We are going up against so many meta Pokemon and meta teams. They got Whimsicott, Golden Go, Ursaluna, Archaludon, alongside with Incineroar, and another Dragonite. I'm tired of playing Dragonites. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, but um, a good Pokemon for us this match is going to be our Ursaluna. I definitely want to bring this. And do I want to pop Trick Room? I feel like I should. I feel like I should with Contrary Malmar. You know what? We're going to lead Malmar. So Malmar is going to come out here. We're going to look to pop Trick Room early on here. Um, I could lead it with Incineroar. Just for a lot of different reasons, and I am going to end up doing that. And then we'll bring Ursaluna in late game Jolteon with the Sash. Late game Jolteon with a Sash. So plan here is to potentially set up Trick Room if we're in a good position to. And then waste out the Trick Room turns and then have Jolteon come in the back and probably clean up this match. Hopefully, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We also have fake tiers that could pair up well with uh, Ursaluna if we need to. Just a few different options for us. But I feel as there is a hot chance that they set up Tailwind with Whimsicott. So going into a Pokemon like Malmar is a good Pokemon because Malmar kind of disguises itself as not a trick room setter right like when you see like dust cops you think okay it's gonna set trick room when you see malmar you're like okay it's probably contrary it's gonna use superpower that's pretty much what i think like everybody knows that it that it could have trick room but it's not like a pokemon again like dust cops where it's just like okay it's gonna pop trick room where it does every time so that's why i, I really like malmar in this situation but let's see you're gonna lead whimsy there's whimsy and incineroar so incineroar and Incineroar, I actually get a contrary boost, which is really good for me. Um, do I want to pop Trick Room right here, right now? Do I want to pop Trick Room right here, right now? You could Moonblast my Malmar down, which could get real scary. I do have Steel Terra. And I am going to end up popping Trick Room. You could fake out my Malmar. But honestly, I kind of forget whose fake out or whose Intimidate went first. Wasn't really paying attention. But I'm just going to fake out their Incineroar if I can. Hopefully. I wish I would have seen whose Incineroar is faster. I would have I would have wavered my decision on who I'm faking out. Because if their Incineroar is faster, I would have faked out just their, their uh, Whimsicott. I'm going to end up Terrasalize here just in case the Moonblast wants to fly. Into a nice lovely Steel type. I know you can Flare Blitz me. But I mean, if I get off Trick Room, Superpower can do some nice damage, especially being plus one. Um... And we'll see a Terrasalize pop from him, too. Is this going to be Incineroar? Maybe, potentially. It is. So, Incineroar gets a Terra. Malmar gets a Terra. Ghost Terra comes out here. I do have Throat Chop. 
really powerful for us. And Fake Out is going to fly, so Fake Out does nothing. Moonblast does come after me, so it's good good news on my end to actually do that. I get the special attack boost, and Incineroar is going to go for a knockoff here. So he's going to take off my item and do decent damage. My Citrus Berry. I really wanted that. But now I pop a Trick Room. So now we're kind of sitting in like this weird position where I got some speed cooking. I got some speed cooking, and I can go for a Throat Chop here. On top of that, I can rip a Fire Blitz right in this slot. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe I should have protected Malmar this turn, but I, I like the damage output that we can do. Again, we're plus one on attack with Malamar. We're minus one on attack with Incineroar, but Whimsicott is just a fluffy, light cotton ball, so Flare Blitz should still do some big-time damage to it. Which is great news. Which is great news. And Malamar should be slowest on the field now. It should definitely be slowest on the field. Actually, oh man. If Incineroar was slower, I'd cry. I'd cry. So I, I need to get off at least a throw chop into a slot. You could end up swapping. You could definitely swap Incineroar. I mean, if you're going to swap anybody, it's got to be Incineroar. Let's see. I'm going to withdraw the Whimsy. So who's taking this Flare Blitz? And we Ursaluna is going to take this Flare Blitz. They end up bringing Ursaluna. Knockoff's going to fly. Your Incineroar is actually slower. Ooh, wow. Wow. Knock it off my Rocky Helmet. You do take some Rocky Helmet damage. Flare Blitz is going to launch too. Respectable. Nothing crazy. Being minus one doesn't help too much. And from here, Throat Chop is going to launch, and it is going to pick up the KO. So KO gone. Um, the Ursaluna is looking rather annoying, especially with Hyper Voice. I mean, Hyper Voice, maybe we could soak it. I would love to get off the superpower here. I really wish I had my Citrus Berry. Um, do I swap Incineroar and maybe bring out my Ursaluna? It really depends who they go into. Because our Ursuline is totally slower than our Malamar. He's got to be. He's got to be. And out comes Arch Ludon. So again, I have... Body press is scary. I have that my Ursuline, but he's he's probably faster than these guys. My Cinnamon might be able to go first. And if I can maybe use Knockoff or even a Parting Shot here. Parting Shot could be great. So I'm just going to protect you. And I'm going to go for a Parting Shot. Especially into you. Let's do it. Let's see if I can pull this off. Let's see if I can get off this lovely little parting shot. So protect from my Malmar. Get it, get it, get it. And parting shot flies. So, alright. Incineroar is slower than these guys. I get off this minus one drop. Um, I am slightly scared of like a body press going after Incineroar. Which I'm going to swap into Ursaluna. Or do I sacrifice maybe like the Jolteon here? No, I think saving Jolteon could be good. We're going to go into our Ursaluna. So Ursa Luna comes out here. Good news, good news. And Earth Power is going to launch, which I block with Protect. That's a nice little Protect block there. A nice, lovely Protect block. And Electro Shot is going to fly. So this thing is definitely Power Herb. And I'm hoping he's going after Incineroar. This Ursa Luna swap could be huge. Ground type? Go ahead. I mean, either way, we're not getting touched. Either way, we're not getting touched, which is just very big for us. Cool. Going after Ursa Luna. That's not bad. We'll see how many turns are left in Trick Room. We got two. Um... Hmm. I mean, another final Pokemon's Wimscott. Now, the problem here is that Incineroar was slowest on the field. It went first. I think their speeds are kind of around these two. I hope Malmar can just pull off a. Malmar can pull off a, a superpower here. Oh my lord, that'd be huge. So I'm gonna go for superpower in Ursaluna here. Look to just get rid of it. And if I can, obviously Earth Power is gonna be to play. You can't terrestrialize. They end up withdrawing Ursaluna. So we're gonna superpower into this Whimscott. Um And we should be able to get off an Earth Power here, right? It protects the bridge. Alright. So the bridge gets a protect. And we get off a free plus one attack and free plus one special or free plus one defense. Now I'm already getting some work done. I might superpower into that slot now, that Archer Ludon. And then maybe just Blood Moon. This other slot? Yeah, I think that's our play. So I'm gonna superpower here. And I'm just gonna go for a Blood Moon. Make sure that this Wimscott goes down. Let's do it. Let's do it. So so far, so good. My plan's working out just to pop Trick Room and just kinda of play off of that. And if I lose a Pokemon, I mean Trick Room's gone and we can bring out the Jolteon. Which is great news. I mean, the Jolteon actually can't hit 
the Ursuluna, which is, ooh, that could be a problem. That could be a problem. Thing is, we still have Incineroar, which is great news. We still have Incineroar. But I mean, Incineroar's not outspeeding it, which is another problem. Yeah, we might, we, we, we kind of have to get rid of this Ursuluna. So, Bridge goes for a double protect. It does not work out, which is massive. Encore is going to pop out here, and we're already going for another superpower, so it don't matter. It do not matter. And superpower is now going to launch again, and we are going to just KO the Arch Luna. That feels so good. Malamar just dumping on the bridge. Just dumping on it. Just dumping on it. So we get rid of you. We're now going to get rid of Whimscott with this Blood Moon, and this pretty much just turns into a... We have all of our Pokemon, a 4v1. We got ourselves a sweep chance on our hands. We got ourselves a sweep chance on our hands. I think they canceled the match, to be honest with you guys. There's a chance that they sit in here and go for a Hyper Voice. And maybe, just maybe, Hyper Voice can KO my my Malamar. I, I don't think so. We have no special defense boost, but... One superpower is just going to rip up in this thing. I think Malamar's plus three. Yeah, he's plus three on attack, which is absurd. Plus three on attack. How did it go plus one special attack? I think it was from the Moonblast. But yeah, from here, you can't Thrasilize. Superpower into... They both do the same amount of damage. We'll go for Earth Power. This, this one, you can't Thrasilize, and I think they cancel. Then you go for... Oh, wait a minute. We got a game, but we're soaking that regardless. We're soaking that regardless. Earth Power, we're going to chunk up some damage. And Malamar going to clutch up here in match number three. Being able to soak up big time shots and finish off this match with Superpower. We lose our first match for today's video. We win our second and third, and we, and we grab ourselves a nice little 2-1 winning record. So guys, rocked out with this Jolteon squad today. Didn't really use it too much. We used it with Golden Go, and that's about it. We tried using it in third and final match, but Malamar just took the show. Really did. Superpower went crazy. Boosted its stats. Was able to be like super effective on every Pokemon with either Throat Chop or Superpower. And it really just went from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.